he had this capacity or desire to get to know each of his performance, performers very personally and very closely so that then during the course of rehearsals and the play, the, the play itself and the character, he'd know which button to push to get out exactly what he needed for the play and the character to come to life. But he would, was uh, ruthless in that sense, but also incredibly generous in that it would always be personal. Never did it in front of the company. Because uh, you had an experience with Kazan in rehearsal, I understand. We were rehearsing in the uh, New Amsterdam roof on 42nd Street Theater, way up, so we had to take an elevator coming down and uh, after rehearsal, and he got in the elevator with me and said, um, um, what are you, where, where are you going? And I said, to the, I was staying at the Algonquin Hotel, walking up there. He said, oh, do you mind if I come with you? And we walked up together, and we got to the Algonquin, and he said, uh, no, don't go in yet. And he walked a couple of steps further to a bar, brought me in, and we sat down, and then he let loose. <laughs> he said, what the fuck are you frightened about? <laughs> I heard all my four-letter words uh, in the course of this play. Uh, I learned them all. <laughs> um, he doesn't use them anymore. Isn't that interesting? There was a day in his life when he realized that there were other words that really expressed emotions and ideas much better than the four-letter words, and so he dropped them all. But at any rate, at that time, he was full of them. And did he scare you? Did he frighten you into... Well, he's, he said, you're, you're, as you're, he said, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. He said, I wouldn't have hired you if I didn't think you would, could do it. He said, but you're up there like a, 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 a mummy, practically. He said, I'm getting nothing from you. He said, no. come to rehearsal tomorrow. And he said, do something outrageous. He said, I don't know, sit on Carl Molden's lap and, lap and hug him or something. Just anything to release yourself from all of this, uh, whatever it is, that's holding you back. And it... Just his saying all this to me just was miraculous in terms of, of relaxing me. And I mean, it was my Broadway debut. I was scared to death. And exactly. uh, it worked. It worked. He told me later, he said, if I, uh, you know, if it hadn't worked, he said, I would have fired you. Because, Sounds you know, it, the contract is five days. Yeah. If you don't want that person in the play, you can, you can fire. 